Hi guys, how's it going? It's Marky. What's going on? I have a bunch of new Hot Wheels to show you. I'm gonna quickly show you these really fast here, just so you can, those of you who just like to see them really quickly, and then we'll get into them and check out all the details. So this is the Greenwood Corvette in the new color. Nice green color, beautiful. We'll get into it. And uh, here's a 69 Chevy pickup. It's been recolored, beautiful. This one hasn't been out in a while. So they brought it back, very nice. So cool. And here's La Troca in gold. We've seen this one in a few different colors. Very nice to see La Troca now in a new color in gold for 2022. So nice. Now the last one I think was uh, purple. And I can't remember if it was the end of 2021 or the beginning of 2022. The last one we saw. The Miata MX-5. Look at that. All right, and the next one is right here, the 55 Chevy. Look at this. Nice. All right, let's take a good look. Let's go back to the uh, Corvette. Man, look at that. Nice number 22 there on the door. And I think that kind of symbolizes the year 2022. Hot Wheels logo right above. And we do have that little Hearst Shifters logo right there. The Bell logo. A lot of cool sponsorships on there. Goodyear. And Coney on the front there. Very, very nice. Check out the wheels. We do have a bigger wheel in the back. Much larger, much taller. And a smaller one in the front area there. We have like a gold chrome stripe on the blacked out rims. And the back tires are really fat. You can see that. Really nice and fat. Check out the exhaust as it heads right to where the doors are. Almost right in the middle where the door is. The color is amazing. The green looks really great. Really great. By the way, guys, thank you so much for all the comments you've been leaving on my videos. Some interesting thoughts and some great comments. And sometimes it takes me a while to answer. Don't get discouraged. Keep, keep leaving comments. It doesn't matter if you leave multiple comments. That's great. I love reading the comments. Very interesting, guys. Very interesting. And thanks so much for participating and commenting. It's awesome. I love the community, the Hot Wheels community, the diecast community in general. Just amazing. A lot of fun. Guys, this car just looks really good. I love, I think this is my, might be my favorite color for the Greenwood so far. Um, we had the dark blue, metallic dark blue. We had a light seafoam blue or seafoam green type color. And I uh, can't remember what other color, but... Uh, this one looks really good. I think this one might be my favorite. This beautiful green with that uh, darker green stripe there. It looks really nice. Really, really nice. So there it is. Very, very cool. And let's check out, let's see, let's go with, let's go with La Troca real quick. And I forgot to show the card, but I'll show, I'll show the card now. Here's the front end of La Troca. Nice, nice grill on the front. The lights are painted over in gold, and so is that uh, hood ornament right there, or the or the badge. Um, this just says La Troca on the base. Yeah, a bunch of other stuff. Copyright 2020. And we do have that little sun visor there on the outside. Check out that gold flake on this one. Incredible, right? So shiny, so sparkly. <laughs> and the handles on the doors are painted over in the gold. We do have gold wheels on this one. Gold running boards. 
gold bumper in the front, gold bumper in the back, all plastic gold chrome. Made in Malaysia, RO2 stamp there on the base. Again, it's a copyright of 2020. There's the side view. We do have the Hot Wheels logo right there on the bottom of the door. Some really cool pinstriping going on on this one. And we do have what looks like butterscotch, a brown color or a butterscotch color there on the bed in plastic. It looks like probably the interior might be the same color. You can't even see inside with those dark, dark windows. More or less, I can make out there's a steering wheel right there. We do have that V-shape or arrow-shape window. Very unusual window, right? And then on the back, no name or anything, just a tailgate with some nice details, little lights right there. Nice sculpting, but no extra colors. Everything is kept in gold on the front and back. And then the roof looks really cool. Look at that. We have those yellow pinstripes with the white pinstripes and then those white... Uh, yellow triangles or gold triangles. Very, very nice. They even have pinstripes all the way up here where the vents go. Look at that. Really, really nice details on La Troca. Very, very cool. Can't wait to put these side by side with the other La Troca vehicles I have. Very, very nice. So let's check out the card real quick. This one has some really nice artwork on the card. There you can see the uh, nice graphics for this one. It does say Chevrolet here in the front and Chev Chevrolet right there on the side. We do have side view mirrors, which are not on the, on the casting itself. And we do have the lights. If those lights would have been painted in and that little ornament in the front or that little uh, name plate, that would have looked so much cooler. It does have the little eyelids there on the lights, but they didn't paint those in. We just need that to give it a little more, a little more life, right? Make it look more real. This one comes from the Hot Wheels Hot Truck series, La Troca. And this one is all the way from F case of 2022. Hot Wheels Hot Trucks, 4x4s and trucks ready to work or race. Very nice. I love the card on it so beautiful and we do have a really nice card for the uh chevy uh, corvette as well the green wood with the number 22 and here we can see how close they came to it just need those little black areas right there in the corners in the front front end everything else looks really really good look at that pretty pretty nice neither the drawing or the uh actual car has Mirrors on the side, no side view mirrors, but very nice. This one comes from the Hot Wheels Contoured, Contoured Series, Contoured Series, one of five. And well, that looks like it might be the Greenwood right there, right? Uh, maybe not, maybe, uh, <laughs> what could that be? A Ferrari or a Lambo? I don't know, Corvette maybe? Nah. I think it's not the Corvette. Looks a little different, right? Yeah, it has more of a curved edge on the bottom there. This one has a spoiler that comes all the way out. All right, cool. Really cool card for the Greenwood. Let's see what it says in the back. F case as well, 76 Greenwood Corvette, Hot Wheels Contoured Series. These racers with streamlined features will lead the competition in the dust. Very cool, nice card. Let's put this one right there. And you guys can join some of your friends, your new friends there. Some of my Hot Wheels are hanging out back there. Very cool. All right, we got some more nice Hot Wheels. This one has a little scratch on the, on the roof. I hope I can take that off. If not, I might have to pick up a new one because I hate having a model or a casting that's all scratched up. <laughs> I like to have one at least that's really nice. Check it out. Nice grill in the front. This one does have the Chevy badge there, the Chevy nameplate. Very cool. We do have some extra colors for the lights on the front and even the parking lights, turn signals. Really cool, big bullets here on the fender. Again, a really cool grill. The Bel Air. This one, we just saw this one in blue. 
not long ago. It was also a blue super treasure hunt, which is great. Never found that one. I don't have one. Left side driver. No mirrors on the side. We do have some nice, nice stripes. Big fat black stripe outlined in silver. And then we have that silver paint right there for all the trim. All the Chevy trim work. The 55 Chevy. We do have the Bel Air name right there with that Chevrolet badge. Nice bench seat in there. No mirror inside. Again, no mirrors on the sides neither or the inside. We do have the windshield wipers molded kind of like on the on the die cast metal there. Sometimes they're on the metal, sometimes on the glass. And then there's a little something there. I don't know if that has to do with the wipers, but there's some vents right there. We do have some nice outlines here on the hood and the details. This is that really nice translucent uh, red color. That gives you all the cool shadows on the edges and everything. I really like this uh, type of paint that they use sometimes in some of the castings. Really nice chromed out five spokes or six spokes. Now nah, it looks like five. Bigger wheels on the back there. A little taller and a little bigger there. And uh, let me see the stance. I guess he stands a little higher. Yeah, a little higher in the back. Kind of leaning forward. Very cool. Looks like we have some factory sticky stuff on there. And the back end, all red. Do have the nice chrome bumper. Big trunk on this one. I remember I once built a 55 Chevy uh, model kit, plastic model kit, about well, a little bigger than this, probably three times the size as this. Bum, bum, yeah, much bigger. <laughs> and that was really fun. Nice, nice car to build. Very, very cool. Let's check out the base real quick. 55 Chevy. 2008 is the copyright there. Mattel. Possibly 2006. It's hard to see with all this shiny chrome on there. Yeah, it might be a 2006 Hot Wheels with the RO2 stamp right there. And made in Malaysia. Beautiful Hot Wheels. Nice details on the base. We got something going on there, something going on back here. You can see the pipes coming down and splitting all the way back here. We can see them right there, the exhaust showing right there. What a beautiful car. Let's put them all side by side. We have three so far. Look at that. These colors are just really, really nice. The red, the green, and that gold. Here's the uh, card for the Chevy. This is what it looks like if you haven't found them yet. Number 20 of 250. Beautiful graphics on there. Really, really nice. And I love this series where it shows you this uh, Bel Air fin right there. One of five. We did see a red Chevy Bel Air with white pinstripes that came out in this series already at the beginning of the year. Chevy Bel Air. Can't wait to see the recolor of the Chevy Bel Air as well. They're going to come out with a new one. 55 Chevy. Again, this was F case, guys. Nose up, nose down, slammed or lifted. We've got all your Bel Airs covered. <laughs> Very cool. This series is going to have a nice amount of Bel Airs, apparently. That's why the fin is there. Very cool card. I love the blue uh, stripe here for the Chevy Bel Air series. Very nice. And up next, whoa, a 69 Chevy. 69 Chevy pickup. This one's from the Art Car series, and you can see it has a letter T. That's a letter T up there. Letter T. There we go. A little closer so we can see that. It's not a square or anything like that. That's a letter T. Some will have an A, H, and A. You can spell your name, park the cars from the art series next to each other and spell out your name or spell out Hot Wheels or whatever you want to. A really nice chromed out grill in the front. Check out the little lights on the bottom. Pretty cool little details there on the bumper. Then we have all those colors. This kind of reminds me of the Partridge Family bus, doesn't it? With all the squares, all the colors there. Hot Wheels in white. Very, very cool. Wow, look at that. Nice details on there. No name or anything, but nice details. This looks like they might be the exhaust right there, right? Could that be the exhaust? It looks like it, or maybe uh, holding the uh, spare tire. Let me see. There's no other details. I think that is the exhaust showing there. This one is uh, marked Custom 69 Chevy. 
do have the Hot Wheels logo made in Malaysia. 2001 is the copyright Mattel and also 2019. They had to copyright it again in 2019. I guess it expired. This one is a step side. It does have a little step there to jump into the back here. We do have a little plastic bed there in black. Part of the bed is metal in red, die cast metal. Black interior, left side driver, no mirrors on the side. And it looks like no windshield wipers. Just a couple of vents here right by the hood. A beautiful hood with some nice details there. Really cool paint. And then we have like a like a little line that comes down right there. Check out the line right there. Very, very nice. A little lift there. Very, very cool. Super nice details on this uh, little 69 truck. We do have nice, uh, nice uh, tinted windows there in blue. And it looks like we have some scratches as well. And this one has some divisions there in the back window. Very cool. Very, very cool. Beautiful. Then on the sides, we do have the little light showing there and back here. Little spots for the lights. And they went super artsy on it with different colors on the wheels. Five spokes in yellow on the back. And then blue, uh, white star, star uh, five spokes on the front end there. Very cool. It looks like the tires are all the same size, I believe. Just probably a longer axle in the back maybe i don't know maybe just the way the back the, the base looks makes it look a little different they're possibly the same looks like they're the same depth i think but a beautiful 69 chevy pickup i'm really loving it looks really cool let's put him next to that greenwood right there and let's check out his card let's see what do we have here oh nice card more details on this uh, front end here where we see the lights. Now, we didn't get that on the actual car. We just got the straight grill. Everything else looks pretty close. No mirrors to show on the side there, just like the casting. And the paint looks pretty close. Great job. Great job. I love it. So here it is, Hot Wheels Art Series, Art Cars. And then we have the cool one. That's uh, one of the castings that's called the cool one. Modeling right there for the picture. It looks like there's going to be 10 art cars. So you have enough letters to probably spell something out. And this one's number 108 of 250. Again, FK69 Chevy pickup Hot Wheels art cars. Colorful art inspired vehicles ready to paint the town. All right. Pretty cool. Let's stack him up right there. Some new additions to the collection. Awesome. And then I got this nice Miata. <clears throat> I'm gonna spin the wheel real quick. Yeah, yeah. Nice purple stripe on that wheel. Then we have the flat disc wheels in pink on the front. Oh wow, look at that. We have the Hot Wheels logo right there. This kind of looks like that digital camel on the base of the uh, paint job there and the background. Then we have like a zipper opening up and what looks like some really cool details. Now this one's from the Hot Wheels J Import Series. It's not an art car. It says Mad Mike Motorsports and it does have the double M's on the card. You can see right there, the double M's for Mad, Mad Mike Motorsports. Toyo tires, little uh, K&N, Destroy and some other names there I can't make out. Roadie form on the front there. So we do have a couple of different uh, sponsors written all over this car. Now look how plain the front looks compared to the rest and the back as well. Very, very plain. Nice details sculpted in India mold, but uh, no extra colors. We do have a nice little wing on the back, a little tail. Toyo tires right there and Toyo tires here on the fenders on the front. Very, very nice. Really cool uh, seafoam green base. We have the little exhaust showing there. Some little details here, some little details here. They kept the base pretty plain. 91 Mazda MX-5 Miata made in Malaysia. Marked right there on the base. Hot Wheels, copyright 2018. Very nice. We do have side view mirrors. We do have sun visors on the glass. No wipers and no rear view mirror showing on there. We do have this little rollover bar, nice little protection. Really tall bucket seats with the headrest. Left side driver, 
Really strange the way they did the steering wheel. It's kind of like a pedestal. You can see that there. It's a little, little strange. It's like a pedestal. There's no extra, extra like a details. Kind of like molded into the seat or something. It's kind of strange. So that's the only thing I don't like about those uh, steering wheels. They look a little weird when they do those. And we do have a nice console with the, uh, the uh, shifter. A couple of spots for some drinks. Some refreshments. We do have a little corner. Windows on the side. Nice windshield in the front. A little smoke to it. So you can see it's a little smoky. But since it's all open, you can see everything in there. Very cool. Nice dashboard. Very nice. Here's the front end again. You can see that look. No lights showing at all. We do have a little spot here for the license plate. Kind of like a little place to put your license plate on there. And it looks like these are pop-up lights. So this one right there and this one right here will pop up. Check out the hood. It's, the hood's all black with those nice uh, sponsors on there. Really cool car with the Mike Motorsports treatment on it. Really, really cool. Let's check out the, um, the card for this one. There we go. Look at that. There are the little details for the fog lights that we didn't get. Fog lights, maybe the turn signals and these lights right there on the side. That's what's missing. That's why it looks so plain on the front. And we do have a little badge there in the middle that's missing as well. And uh, let me bring it a little closer. There we go. And you can see the difference right there. So we just need a little bit of that uh, detail that's missing. We do have the mirrors. They do have mirrors here on the side. So we do have the mirrors there. But it's a very cool Hot Wheels. Very close to the card, what they have on the card there. Very close. Really nice Hot Wheels. This one has the Rai Asada. Uh, Signature on there or autograph. Little homage to Rai who designed this one. And he was a Hot Wheels designer who worked for Mattel for a long time. Has passed away not long ago. So may he rest in peace. 91 Mazda MX-5 Miata. Hot Wheels J import series. And we have a little Japan flag there with a the little J. And here's a little autograph from the uh, motorsports team. Very, very cool. I love the card. And let's see what it says that back here. 91 Mazda MX-5 Miata. Again, this one's from F Case. Hot Wheels J Import Series. 4 of 10. So we're going to have 10 Japanese cars this year. A dream collection of Japanese domestic market vehicles. J JDMs. J Japanese domestic market. So that's what, when they say JDM, that's what it is, guys. Japanese domestic market. So a dream collection of JDM vehicles. Very, very cool. 2021 copyright back here very very nice i love it beautiful car so i got these nice new hot wheels to add to my collection 